Welcome everybody, this is your boy Drada Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weeds GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now before we do carry on okay, I just wanted to let you guys know to listen very carefully and I watch the whole video because I've been getting so many comments about this mod not working okay and there's a file missing inside menu. So all you guys got to do is go inside my description below and download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require a menu, so make sure that you do have the latest version for menu and I will leave this inside my description below. Download the zip file and then now download it to your desktop. Now we will be testing this mod using the You Got Me Looking For Attention Pose Pack. So if you want this mod, then I will leave this mod inside my description below and download the latest version. All my files are over here. And now the first thing that we must do is install menu. So open up your menu zip file and now you'll see this, just minimize it for now. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now we will be installing Minyo for those who are just starting to install this mod. Now all you gotta do is select your Minyo stuff folder and Minyo.asi, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder then exit out of your extract folder. Now, go inside your menu stuff folder. Now, as you can see, uh, you got all these files and folder, but there's one file that you do not have. So you will need to, uh, yeah, just only do this, okay? Uh, just only type it in, okay? Um, or I will just type this inside my description. So you guys can just copy that, okay? And then now uh, go to your menu stuff folder, right click, create a new file, and make sure it is a text document. Now paste the name there, okay. Then now go at the end, delete the text, and now type XML. Then press enter. You'll get that, press enter again. Then that's all you gotta do. Now you have created that file. Now next is open up your custom uh, extract folder. Open up that, okay. Then now uh, go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Go to your mods folder. Go to your update folder. Go to time 64. Go to DRC packs folder. And now go back to your extract folder. Now all you gotta do is select this folder and drag it inside your DRC packs folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Make sure that you do have a DRC.RPF file inside that folder. Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now just minimize that for now. Now what you need to do is go back to the... Okay, go back here, okay. And you'll need to scroll down 
and you will need to get the DRC list, okay? Just get this, okay? And now open up a notepad. Just paste that there for now. Now go back to your open IV, open up your open IV. Go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. This will take a few seconds. Next, go to edit mode. Select yes. Go to your mods folder. Go to update. Go to update.rpf. Go to common. Go to data. Scroll right down to the bottom until you see drclist.xml. Hover over the file. Then go to edit. Then scroll right down to the bottom. Now just only copy this, okay? Just copy this. Okay, just copy it. Okay, any any of them. Okay. Then go back to your notepad. Then paste it down the bottom. I have missed out something over here. Now after that, copy this. And now paste it between the the item lines like that now copy this again and then now go back to your open IV text editor then I paste it down there now save it what we need to do okay is go back to our creative audio V main folder now inside your menu stuff folder okay like I said before if you're installing Mino for the first time, you won't have this file, so you, you'll need to create the file. Now, let's go and install the You Got Me Looking For Attention Pose Pack. Open up the extract folder. Wait for a few seconds. Exit out of that. Go to this folder. Go to single player. Now, all you got to do is go inside your YCD. Now you will need to install all this. So to install all, all of that, go to your open IV, go to your mods folder, go to update, go to time 64, go to your DRC packs folder, go to custom enemies folder, go to DRC.RPF, go to time 64, go to this folder, go to in game, then go to clip AMB or whatever at RPF. Now install it in here. Grab all of this, all of it, and now drag it to your open library. Then now exit. Go back to your GTA V. Then just minimize that. Now go back to here and now open up this okay. Dot text. Now copy this whole line, this whole code. Exit out of your text, just minimize that. Now go to your favorite.xml, right click, and edit with Notepad++, or just edit, either way. Now just paste that code inside there. That's all you gotta do. Make sure that you do save it, and then exit out of here. Now you have finally finished installing menu, installing the custom animation, and even installing the you got me looking pose so all you got to do now is go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and now we are here and now we are here with our female character so once you're in the game okay you will need to open up your menu so to open up menu all you gotta do is press F8 twice. Player options, animations, go right down to the bottom to favorites. And now you can do your poses like that. Or whatever pose you prefer to do photo shoots and etc. So that's how you guys install the custom animation. And we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. But with that said, if you guys do 
get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help out on that as well unfortunately i am not active inside my youtube comments so if you need fast reply or urgent help then I do have a Discord server. My Discord server is inside my description below. Go and join my server and make sure that you verify the PC modding support server. If you guys did enjoy this video, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.